And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Good afternoon, everyone. Once again, hot and humid and pretty much dry throughout the day, but we have some rain chances back in the forecast later on tonight. We're talking about a chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms late tonight and tomorrow as a little tropical disturbance moves onshore. Right now, things are quiet. Let me show you what's going on to the east. There's a disturbance shown by the dotted yellow line. A lot of showers well offshore, some of them making their way onshore into Mexico. So after midnight tonight, we're going to put in that chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms here in the valley. Temperatures right now, Lower 90s in most spots, 90 Rio Grande City and Harlingen, 93 McAllen and Edinburgh, 90 in Raymondville and Brownsville, and 87 degrees in Port Isabel. Here's your evening planner forecast. It should stay dry for the first half of tonight with partly cloudy skies at 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. Still very warm at 7 p.m. and breezy with temperatures in the upper 80s. Then we're back to the mid 80s at 9 p.m. and lower 80s at 11 o'clock tonight. Mostly cloudy skies. There's that chance later on tonight for the showers and storms. So here is future track. Notice Notice the yellow line. That's a tropical disturbance. It's going to move onshore later on tonight. Now, the wetter side of these tropical waves is to the east of that dotted line because that's where the air converges. That's why we see more showers and thunderstorms to the east of that dotted line. So as this tropical wave crosses into land, we'll have a better chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms uh, starting tomorrow. Still a slight chance late tonight, and then a little better chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow. We're not talking about an all day rain event, but do have the umbrellas handy for tomorrow. And then as this tropical wave starts to move off to the west, our rain chances will start to diminish. So I still think we could see some sea breeze showers or thunderstorms in the forecast for Tuesday and Wednesday. So we'll keep in a slight chance for some rain on Tuesday as well as for Wednesday. Then things should start to dry out. But then as high pressure aloft builds into the region, our temperatures will soar once again. So get ready for high temperatures in the upper 90s for the second half of the week. It will also be breezy for Friday and Saturday. So to recap, we have a 40% chance of some showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, scattered showers and storms, 30% chance of rain Tuesday, and then a 20% chance of rain on Wednesday. On the water, small craft should use caution overnight. We'll have winds out of the southeast at 10 to 20 knots. The bay waters are choppy. Your next tide is a low tide at 734 tonight, and the seas will be 3 to 8 feet. So for tonight, again, a 30% chance of some showers or storms after midnight. It'll be mostly cloudy otherwise, with low temperatures in the upper 70s. Winds out of the southeast at 10 to 20 miles an hour. Tomorrow, have the umbrellas handy. Mostly cloudy skies, a 40% chance of some on and off showers and storms, with high temperatures only in the lower 90s. And then the highs return to the mid-90s after tomorrow. 94 degrees on Tuesday. Day with a 30% chance of rain. We have a 20% chance of rain on Wednesday with highs back to the mid 90s as well. Should be mainly dry on Thursday, meaning just a 10% chance of a shower. And then it should be dry for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but breezy and hot. Mostly sunny skies. Remember, look at that though 97 degrees on Friday, 98 on Saturday, 98 on Sunday. Normal high temperature for this time of year is 95. So we're going to be just a bit below normal tomorrow and Tuesday, then a little above normal for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday as well. Sunday, the morning lows each day. They stay very warm. They will remain in the upper 70s. That's your first one five forecast. Now here's Joe.